Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to do a quick demo using automatic web UI to run SDXL. For now, this only works for NVIDIA GPU. So if you have AMD GPU, you will need to wait for a little bit longer. So you will need to make sure that you have the latest automatic web UI installed. If you haven't, please feel free to check out my previous video about uh, installing automatic web UI. If you already have that uh, installed but uh, old version, I will show you how to uh, update it. So it is very easy. So you will go to your local directory and uh, enter git pull on the terminal and then it will automatically pull the latest commit from the GitHub remote repository. So that way, it can do the upgrade for you. OK, so after that, make sure that you go to the SDXL Hugging Face page to download the base model 1.0. So you will need to go to the second tab, files and versions, scroll down, you will see one of the file named sd-xl-base-1.0.safe tensor, about seven gigabytes. You will need to click the download button next to it. It will download it to your local. After the download completes, you can move this file into your stable diffusion repository directory for the models. Okay, and then after that, we were able to launch automatic web UI by enter python launch.py. It will download several files before making the web UI available. Then we can go to our web browser and enter the URL address. You can see the familiar automatic web UI interface. And please make sure to choose the model as SDXL 1.0. Let's also open a terminal to monitor the GPU usage. One setting for SDXL model is the dimension of the image. The default is 1024 by 1024. Make sure you change those in your parameter settings.
as we can see that uh, the SDXL works uh, perfectly with uh, automatic web UI. Next thing I want to show you is that uh, to compare two of my GPU performance, one of that is uh, 3060. Let me bring that up. So this is the 12 gigabytes VRAM 3060 GPU's performance. As you can see, it's pretty consistent. I did the uh, multiple runs and uh, can take the average. It's about uh, 1.18 iteration per second. And uh, here on the right panel, it is the performance for NVIDIA 12 gigabytes. So the ADTI, we can also take an average of the speed. It's about uh, 2.7 iteration per second. So this can give you an idea for the different uh, GPU based on its uh, computing power. There's a slight uh, difference. I would say that if you are generating lots of image, the speed can be an important uh, factor when you like make your purchase uh, decisions. But in general, if you are doing it uh, for hobby, I think uh, so the 60 works uh, perfectly here. I will show you some of the images I generated uh, using this SDXL model and the uh, automatic web UI. Uh, I will show it uh, quickly so you can get an idea how some of the image look like. Thank you.